Hello everyone, this is Ascendance here and it is no secret that Ion is my number one titan, but I really feel that I haven't quite done her justice. In my advanced guide just a few months ago, I referred to her with the wrong gender pronoun. I also panned that laser tripwire ability. Well, with those recent changes to laser shot, it seemed right to go in and have a closer look at the tripwire to see exactly what it is capable of. So here are the secrets and lesser known facts about the laser tripwire. This ability throws down three pylons in the direction that you face. These connect with lasers if they are in line of sight to each other. They explode when an enemy walks into them, be it Grunt or Titan. They also explode when an enemy shoots at them and deals enough damage to destroy them, or after a natural lifespan of 12 seconds. When they explode, any enemy within a large radius of any pillar will take 1500 points of damage. The ability has a cooldown of 10 seconds, and is the only one of Ion's abilities that has a cooldown. It also consumes 5 of your 15 total bars of energy when activated. However, with the 0 point tripwire perk, you can activate it for free. Contrary to what I have said in the past, this is not a bad choice at all, given what we are about to tell you about this trap. The first thing that we need to understand is exactly how the damage functions. Basically, when the pylons explode, they have a very large radius and will instigate pilots or heavily damaged titans. Now, proximity to the pylons is irrelevant. If the enemy is inside the radius, they will take full damage of 1500, regardless of how close to the edge of the damage radius they are. The pylons have an equally large vertical radius, so this can net you some lucky pilot kills. The damage is also identical regardless of whether the enemy is in proximity to one pylon or multiple pylons. It is always a flat 1500. Now that we understand how the damage is transferred, we can ask the obvious question of how it interacts with Titan defensive abilities. And the prognosis is grave for any Titan trying to defend themselves from this ability. We can see here how Vortex Shield has no effect, even when the pylons are grouped up in front of the shield. The same is true for Flame Shield, which is completely bypassed in both circumstances. Tone is also unsafe behind her particle wall, which fails to negate any damage, regardless of the clumping of pylons. And predictably, Legion's Gun Shield offers no protection whatsoever. Ronin is the lucky exception, however, and the sword block will still negate 75% of the damage. So generally speaking, if an enemy is in the blast radius of the pylons when they explode, that damage is completely unavoidable. This is really powerful, but of course, that damage only goes out if something triggers the tripwire. So what secrets can help this occur at the right time? By aiming flat on a vertical plane, the tripwire pylons will spread out. This will cover the largest area, and if you include the threat range of the explosion, it has a huge area denial bonus. But this setup is also easy for your opponent to identify, avoid, or destroy from range. If you look directly up or down when deploying the tripwire, the pylons will clump in a very small area. This can hide the obvious orange lasers, and in the chaos of a fight it is very difficult to spot and destroy them safely. Although the smaller area makes it less likely to be triggered by enemy movement. Regardless of how you deploy the tripwire, using electric smoke to conceal it can really help with getting your enemies to trigger the explosion. Another way that explosion can be triggered is by an enemy shooting at it. The tripwire has 400 health, so it does take a moment or two of shooting to take it down. For pilots, it requires even more effort on their behalf. Now often enemies will miscalculate the explosion radius and still take damage when they destroy the pylons because they are simply too close. If those pylons are spread out over a large distance or covering multiple corridors, one enemy destroying one of the pylons will cause them all to explode, often damaging other adversaries in the area that thought they were safe. Finally, after 12 seconds the pylons will detonate naturally. This is actually a pretty decent way to deal some damage as well as often enemies, especially pilots, will be in the radius when it detonates simply by accident. Speaking of pilots, you can also put the tripwire pylons up on low roofs and inside many buildings, which is a nasty surprise for pilots trying to capture a hardpoint or deposit cash at the bank. Laser tripwire thrives on chaos. The more there is going on, the more likely it is to go off and deal that damage. Drop it in the middle of a tense fight, 
add some smoke, throw it behind an enemy that you are dueling, and remember that it doesn't take very long to prime. So against those slower titans, you can actually get some quick damage off by throwing it at their feet. You can also use the tripwires without interrupting the animation of any other action. So quick deployments while reloading or using vortex shield are also very possible. Now you can double up on tripwires, and by that I mean have two sets of tripwires active at the same time, but only for two seconds. Then the first will expire and explode, simply due to how long the cooldown takes. All tripwires also look the same. There is no way to distinguish a friendly pylon from an enemy pylon, which makes it even better in those chaotic situations. Finally, you can use the tripwire for area denial. Of course, place it over a corridor to slow that Ronin and deal some damage if they are foolish enough to press on through. Just remember that Ronin can actually phase dash through the wire and destroy it in the process without taking any damage. And that is it for the secrets of Laser Tripwire. If you have anything else to add, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to keep up to date on everything from 4FS Gaming.